Well, hello there. If you're a professional filmmaker, go watch something else. But if you're a beginner and you want three quick tips on how to improve music in your videos, stick around. What up guys, my name's Cal and in today's video we're going through three tips on how to improve music in your videos. Instead of doing a big long boring introduction, I'm just going to ask you to subscribe and we're going to get straight into it and count it down. Number three, cut to the beat. This is the most important one, which is why I'm doing it first. There's nothing worse than when it feels like a song's just been dragged and dropped into a video and it's all completely out of time and off beat with what you're watching. The easiest way to match the beat to your video is to drag and drop the music in first and then cut the video around it. As you can see here, each cut of this sequence happens as the beat changes. Whether it's on the second or the fourth or the sixth beat, the video always cuts on a bass or a snare drum or around the melody itself. Here's an example of a video cut to beat. It gives a smooth feel. It feels far less jagged and it doesn't take the viewer out of the moment. Number two, matching your scene. You want to choose a song that's going to help tell the story and relate to what the viewers are watching. Imagine for a moment that your scene is a slow motion introduction of a person. Now imagine that the music is heavy metal. Yeah, you don't want that. Instead, you probably want something like this. Once again, this not only helps tell the story, it doesn't shock the viewer out of the scene and it makes your video far more watchable. So always match your music. Number one, background music. If you have music playing during a scene where people are talking, you want that music to be super subtle. I mean, super subtle. Once you've turned the music right down in the background so that you can barely hear it, turn it down again and turn it down again. You also don't want to choose music with vocals or high frequencies. This can mesh with your voice and cause all kinds of frustration and confusion in the viewer. When your B-roll kicks back in, you can amp that music back up. And if you're combining those two scenes and you're cutting to the beat, it'll make for a smooth, seamless transition. So that was it guys. Three easy tips on how to improve the music in your videos. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. We have new videos every single week. We'll catch you in the next place.